Our symbol today is the palm cross. Jesus was crucified with two criminals. Our symbol today reminds us of the start of the story. Palm branches, palm crosses used at the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. We remember too the penitent thief who, Jesus, who saw Jesus for who he was. In Luke 23 verse 42 we read, Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. One of the men crucified with Jesus recognized him, knew him, and was filled with remorse. He didn't ask for favor. He asked to be remembered. In that moment, we see the grace of God at work. The Easter story is all about grace, God's gift of love to all people, generous beyond understanding. The Easter story reminds us that we cannot do things we do, so we merit a place in paradise, but God will give to everyone the opportunity to belong. Let us pray. Lord, help us to remember, to remember our own frailty and how graciously you deal with us, the frailty of others that we deal graciously with each other. May we show your love in all we do and all we are, and may we bring hope to those who believe themselves to be lost. Amen. Thank you, Roger. And we're going to sing now. We're going to sing our opening hymn, which is We're Marching in the Light of God. And if anybody can make up some improvised percussion, feel free to do so. Today is the Sunday we remember as Palm Sunday. And so we will be coming before God in prayer as we remember the crowds who gathered to praise and celebrate the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Let us pray. On Palm Sunday, the crowds worshiped Jesus. On Good Friday, they shouted for him to die. Let us who also worship him Confess that sometimes we reject him and ask for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus Christ, you come to us in peace, but sometimes shut the door of our mind against you. In your mercy, forgive us and help us. You come to us in humility, but we prefer our own proud ways. In your mercy, forgive us and help us. 
You come to us in judgment, but we cling to our familiar sins. In your mercy, forgive us and help us. You come to us in majesty, but we will not have you to reign over us. In your mercy, forgive us and help us. Lord, forgive our empty praise. Fill our loveless hearts. Come to us and make our lives your home forever. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw us to himself and cleanse us from all our sins. May we behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. True and humble King, hailed by the crowd as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and to love you, that we may be found beside you on the way to the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen. As it's today is Palm Sunday, those of you who want to and have the necessary materials at hand, I would like you to make a Palm Sunday procession. It can be made out of Lego, Playmobil, Plasticine, you name it, we can make it out of whatever we want. And what I want us to do when we reach the appropriate point in our service, if anybody has got anything they'd like to share, then to share it with us. <clears throat> but before we go any further, I would like to ask Jill, Jill Cheney, if she would read our first reading, which is the story of Matthew from Matthew about Jesus's triumphal entry into Jerusalem. So Jill, we're in your hands for the moment. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village ahead of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Thank you, Jill. Our opening hymn was a hymn of marching and celebration. Our second hymn is a hymn too about being part of the procession of Christ coming into Jerusalem. We, we know it, it's make way, make way. Shall hear the lame shall dance the 
Now I'm sure that we enjoyed seeing that. I could see a number of singing faces as we were as we were going through. And it is always good to remember just the celebratory aspect of the victory pray at victory parade into Jerusalem. What I want to do now though is just to share a scene from Jesus Christ Superstar and to use that as a way then to think about what Easter is all about and what Palm Sunday is all about. To be quiet, we anticipate a riot. This common crowd is much too loud. <laughs> Tell the all who sing your song that they are fools and they are wrong. They are a curse. They should disperse. can be done to stop the shouting if every tongue was still the noise would still continue the rocks and stones themselves would start to sing For you are blessed There is not one of you Who cannot win the kingdom The slow, the suffering The quick, the dead oh, story of Palm Sunday, the procession. It always seems to come at the wrong point in the story. The procession of Jesus into Jerusalem was meant to be a victory procession. It was meant to be a way in which the good news of God could be seen. And it does seem to come at the wrong point. It comes at the start of the story. And what it is, it's a statement of the prophetic nature of the will of God. God is saying, I will make this come to be. And he makes it happen. And when we go on into the Easter story, we recognize that the Easter story is about victory. Even though in the opening frames of the story, the opening parts of the story, it feels anything else but. But when we reflect on the Easter story, it's a story of light over darkness. No matter how dark we think things had come. And we need the Palm Sunday procession of victory to allow us to face with confidence the story of the garden, the story of the trial, the story of the cross and into the tomb. We need the affirmation of victory to remember that light overcomes darkness. 
and the prophetic statement makes the day of re resurrection so much sweeter and so much more powerful because the love of and power of God is seen. It's promised and complete. For many people, the recent days with the coronavirus pandemic and the impact of COVID-19, we have seen our lives change. And part of me says, where is the light of God in all of this? Without question, I have seen really good things happen. I have seen people care for their community in a way which they haven't done perhaps forever. I have seen those in great need get great help. And I'm sure that in seeing that, I am seeing the light of God. I am hearing accounts of people who have lived in isolation and loneliness, saying that they have had more contact, more interaction with people in recent weeks than they've had for a long time. And those who are living with the impact of isolation because they are frail, because they're elderly, because they are ill, it is good that there has been the care and the contact with them. Some of us who are unused to isolation have had isolation forced upon us. And I believe that has given us an insight into the way in which some people live all of their lives. And I believe that we are challenged that when this enforced time of isolation and distance is finished, I believe that we are challenged to ask, what can we do to make our community rich? How can we continue to support and care for those who are in isolation? How can we recognize those whose need is great, but don't have anywhere to go and can't go anywhere? The Palm Sunday Victory Procession tells us that no matter how dark the Easter story gets during Good Friday, that God will bring victory and God will bring light. I believe one of the things that we are learning at the moment is that God will bring light, God will bring hope, and God will bring good things out of our experience as a nation. And it's my hope and prayer that we will remember God's victory and do all we can to share in that victory together. Now I've said all I want to say for today, but I was wondering if anybody has anything they would like us to see in terms of having made their procession or a palm cross or a spinner or, any, or anything. So if you want to share anything, you'll have to put your microphone on and wave it in front of your camera. Here's, here's Francis's procession made out of Play-Doh. Oh, wonderful. See the people and the palms. Yeah. I can oh. see that, that's wonderful. Well done. And he's lost an eye here. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, we can still see. Right, go and stand at the end and show Jesus. You need to talk. What? Okay. Right. You want to show what we've done? made. We've done one with our teddies and we drew palm leaves. Go and show, show Jesus on the donkey. <laughs> That's Jesus on the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> We made this um um bus, and we also have like a. a oh, lo oh, lovely Roxy! I can see that. <laughs> and we got this kind of hard to see, but we got that a procession. Jesus on this horse, more like a llama, donkey. Yeah. Well, that's a wonderful procession there by the Batavies, isn't it? <laughs> But a socially distancing crowd yeah, as well. Yeah, with, 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 with. Oh, you've got to reflect real life. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody else anything they'd like to share? Can I show you my palm? Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, I haven't made this today. In fact, I brought it back from Jerusalem 
I think it was 42 years ago. And we've kept it ever since. And I've brought it to most of the Palm Sunday services since. I was in Jerusalem on the Saturday, flew home early the Sunday morning, uh, having bought this palm in the Casbah there and, and took it to Sunday service the following day, which happened to be Palm Sunday. Mm. And uh, there it is, a real palm from Jerusalem. Wonderful. What, what we have that we make into the crosses are the, the fronds, which are, yep. are pulled off, yeah. Oh, we have a like procession of different people, and they're all like two finger width apart because. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> when you get down like that, it looks like such ever such a long procession. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> so just remember that the procession was God's was a sign of God's victory, and that we can share God's victory because we have faith in the Christ who is risen. But I want us just to change focus a little bit now and we're going to sing another hymn. It's Ride On, Ride On in Majesty. Our opening hymns were lively and bouncy. This one is a little bit more reflective and after we've sung this hymn, we'll go into a more reflective part of our service. We now come to a reflective part in our service and this will begin with Rosie reading from Isaiah, then David Latter will share in a reflective prayer, then Sarah will lead in intercessions and I'll conclude in prayer. So I'm hoping everybody's got their words in front of them and that we're able to share together. So Rosie if you would begin with our reading. The servant's humiliation and vindication. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backwards. I gave my back to those who struck me, 
and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Thank you. We join in a reflective prayer. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna. Crucify him. Crucify him. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Crucify, Crucify him. him. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Crucify, Crucify him. him. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Crucify, Crucify him. him. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why indeed? Taking someone's donkey. It's bound to look suspicious. Why are you doing this? Why indeed? Loitering in a church. What if my friends come by? Why are you doing this? Why indeed? Shouting and waving. I must look quite a sight. Why are you doing this? Why indeed? Going to Jerusalem, a trial, a cross, and a grave. Why are you doing this? Why indeed? Donkey riding king, we look for your kingdom. We continue to pray as we pray our prayers of intercession. At the end of each section, if you'd like to join in, help us, Lord, to share. Our prayers of intercession are for the poor. We pray for the poor, those who live in poverty of finance, who make difficult choices in order to survive, to keep body and soul together. We remember that the world is rich and bountiful and contains enough that all may have sufficient. Help us, Lord, Help to us share. Lord. We pray for those who feel themselves poor because their political situation makes it impossible to live in freedom, to live in the freedom they would like and which they see in other places. We would pray for those who rule and make decisions which affect political freedom and ask that they might always seek for the common good. Help us, Lord, to share. We pray for those who feel themselves to poor because they are alone and believe themselves to be friendless. Help us to reach out to people who feel isolated and alone. We know that people are meant to live in relationship with others. We remember our church family. Help us, Lord, to share. We pray for those who feel themselves to be poor because they are robbed of health, either for a time or for the foreseeable future. You know who we think of, and we ask that they may find peace. Help us, Lord, to share. We rejoice, Lord, that you hear our prayers and answer them. And for our final set of prayers, our response is, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Loving God, we ask your forgiveness for the times when we have allowed personal embarrassment to keep us silent and we have failed to speak out about your love for us. 
Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Loving God, we ask your forgiveness for the times when our actions and words have denied your love for us, when we have been harsh and judgmental in our being with other people. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Loving God, we ask your forgiveness for the times we have betrayed your love for us by refusing to love with a love like yours. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. We thank you for the words of grace. In the name of Jesus, our sins are forgiven. Go and live in peace. Amen. Loving God, as we have heard once again the story of the Passion of Christ, we thank you that here we see your love revealed most profoundly. We thank you that you have shown us a profound truth, that true love changes things, transforms situations and brings redemption. May we experience the moving of your spirit, filling us with your love and making us brave to share your love with others. We ask these prayers in the name of Christ, who has taught us to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn is From Heaven You Came, Helpless Babe, and we will share this together.
And just before we share in saying the, the grace together, I am sure that we remember John and his family as they will be sharing in Jesse's funeral tomorrow. If anybody would like to share in that via the live feed from the crematorium, there is a link in the notices. I would like to remind you that we have the funeral for Ruth on the 15th of April. We heard during the week that um, Valerie Mumford had been admitted into hospital and we trust that she will be feeling much better and much more supported there. I remind you that we have Monday Thursday service on Thursday and Good Friday service on Friday and of course we have Easter Day next Sunday. And so we will thank God for the way in which he works in our lives. We will take the chance to remember each other in prayer before him and we will just close our service now as we say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a good day and a good week everybody.